How's it guys and welcome back to Paradigm Flip. We are here in the Asian session and we are on USD JPY. And I just wanted to um, go through a live trade example with you guys. If you remember in my last video, um, I did explain to say we had a trade set up in this area here. And we indeed pulled back. Now we did manage to uh, break this candle, but uh, we rejected. And it was basically a two bar pullback before we continued high. And we remained within the previous uh, pullback, the previous balance area. So that would have been a good trade long. And the time when we saw the trade, when I did speak about the trade, um, I think we were on this bar. And it was either this one or this one, I can't really remember. But uh, it did turn out to be a great trade. Uh, as you can see, it pulled back, we got a rejection, and we continued higher. Now, we can just have a look at the... Um, the targets, right? So if I just get a Fibonacci retracement tool and we draw it from this low to the high point, uh, noticed how we just fell short of that one to one. Okay, we basically reached the halfway point and we just poked above there, almost reaching a one to one, but ultimately failed. Now, if you could go on a lower time frame, perhaps a one minute or five minutes, and look for a trade that would give you at least a one to three going higher, that would have been great. We can actually just go into trading view and have a look at how you could have entered this using uh, the tools that I gave in my previous video just to see how that goes. But as of now, what I'm actually looking at is this push that we have here, right? I don't want to talk too much because I might miss the trade. And you can see that's a one standard deviation push. And we basically stayed above the candle, pulled back to the origin of the push, and we are trading higher. Now, we didn't get a trade near the low because we are literally coming into the open, but we have the safe trade still in play. So let's just go to a lower time frame. I hope I do not miss it. Let's just see time frames. Go down to a five minute. Right. And let's have a look at what's happening in here. Right, okay. So this seems like it's a great trade, right? We got this strong push here, right? Usually what we'll get is a nice ABC, that's what I'll be looking for, and a rejection, and I would go long in this location and keep my stops at my low. Right. So that might occur, right? We are literally looking at this high and this low, and what we really have right now is prices above the 50 we just rejected, and we could take out this high, and if we take out that high, we'll most likely come and take out that high, right? And there's a larger time frame high that uh, we're ultimately targeting, and I'll show you that in a bit, right? So what it does look like is we can actually get that little ABC, right? And we could get a rejection here. Now, I don't want to miss the trade. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a buy stop here, 1.35272, right? So... I'm just going to do that. I don't want to rush into the trade. Right, and... Here we go. Sorry. I'm going to get this... Uh, I want to modify that. Right. Can we just do that and then move this away? Right, I'm gonna keep this here. Right, so if price does uh, try to retire, it's gonna catch me before the breakout. And if we do get this move lower, right, this will move lower, right, to take out this low, right. When you see rejection, I'll be looking to enter there. <laughs> Okay, and if it does tag me in, I'm gonna set my stop loss real quick. But for now, I do not want to be pressured. Right, so let's continue. We'll see how that develops. Now, 
if I just go back to the higher time frame, you'll notice we have this larger high in this area, right? So if I just zoom out just a little bit, right? Right, you'll notice we have this larger high that we can expect price to run, okay? And that's based on my simple concept that when we get close to a high, we can expect price to run the stops. And if we see a consolidation or pullback, we can anticipate that stop run. And if this pullback is a major high, then this stop run, right, can offer a great deal of pips for you to, to, um, to take advantage of. Okay, so on a lower time frame, obviously, if, if this is on a five minute chart, the stop run isn't going to be uh, as big as a higher time frame pullback, right? So you can expect a sizable stop run here, right? And you don't even have to take the whole range. Okay, you can just take what you want and get out. You don't have to be greedy. These setups occur all the time. And if you just look at, for example, like this high, right? If you have to enter somewhere here before the break, so you pull above the 50. Right, you could have taken that, right? If you had entered on this little consolidation here, right, just before the break of that high, right, you could have taken something. And this was a failure. This one was quite a nice move. You can see where they pull back and we had a very nice run up. This high, you had that consolidation there and price ran above quite nicely. <laughs> right, so right now we're in this consolidation and we're anticipating price to run up. Now that doesn't mean price can't come lower, right, and make a of a deeper pullback and then continue high it can literally do whatever it wants but we have to go with what we have right and we are not waiting for things that we can't see okay so price is actually putting back there let's just go back to a lower time frame and actually see what's happening hopefully we get a, a sharper entry right excuse me i got a bit of a cold so i'm a bit fluy at the moment Okay, so we can definitely move this lower. Okay, so great. If this does reject, there'll be a tight entry in this area and a stop below here, right? But I'm not really concerned about that, right? Once price breaks this candle, okay, right now we are getting a rejection of this low. And once price breaks this candle, I'm gonna let it take me to the trade and I'll keep my stop below here. And I will basically target just a bit above this um, larger time frame high. Let's just uh, go into trading view, right? Since we have some time and Let's actually take a look at this trade, right? Remember, I called this trade, this candle, well, it hadn't developed, right? When we were talking about these setups, these momentum setups, and this was a, a buy trade that you could have taken advantage of, okay? And let's just see how we how we could have entered based on um, what I taught in my previous video, okay? Right, so we got that two standard deviation push here, and we got that pullback, and we got that continuation. So let's just go and take a look at that on trading view. Get our volume profile tool out and see what we could have done there. Okay, so we are here on trading view, right? And here is that candle, right? That we are taking a look at. So we can just mark up that area, right? We can put a vertical line on it and that candle ended when this candle began so we put a vertical line on here as well we can go to the lower time frame and actually take a look at this candle okay so let's go down to a five minute chart all right so here we are on a five minute chart okay what i'm going to do is just gonna highlight this area, okay. And I'm going to remove the slide. I'll keep the slide here so we, you know where the the kettle starts. And what we basically want to do is we want to use our market profile tool to figure out where the distributions in price are, right? So I'm gonna take it from the most recent low to the most recent high. And if we take a look at our distribution, it's showing us that the most volume is this area where the red line is, and that is basically highest volume or the POC okay and if we just draw that uh, area out in time we can see that's exactly where price pulled back towards right so if you could carve out an entry in this area that would have been great okay so what we next want to do is we want to take our market profile tool and draw the distribution from the high point to the pullback right and we can see where the volume is 
right on the pullback now obviously we want to trade when price goes above this area right right so price taps into this area here right and we have a little reaction off of it then we break above it at this area here and we retest it right now as we're moving higher right on this pullback right once we start to trade higher right you could literally just enter right above the halfway point from this high to this low right and you could keep your stop in this area okay right or if you're more skilled right you could also draw a profile from this high down to this low and once you've traded above that volume right you can take your entry very aggressively okay so that would be this point right so on this candle okay you could have had your entry right and you could have kept your stop below the low or just a little bit lower just in case we have one more low right and you want to be targeting a one-to-one -one of this pullback right so you're going to get your fib retracement and you're going to draw it going out in time and your main target is going to be this area here right now we fell short of it okay but we did reach this area right and if this was your how you framed your trade right and you were taking a one to three you wouldn't have made a one to three you'd have just made a one to two so a one to three would have literally been around here okay which is fine because you're not going to get all of them but by this point right you could have been a break even and maybe taken a partial off at one to, one to two right but that's how that setup went now if you were a bit more aggressive and you well i haven't taught you guys how to take a quick trade off this area right because remember the trade i taught you about was a rejection of a low so for example you trade into the distribution okay so here's the volume and you break a low and once you've rejected that low and perhaps consolidate just above the low that's your trade entry but the closest low is this area right now the risk that you're taking right if you had to take a trade anywhere in here right and keep your stop at this low right the range the range is fairly okay okay it's fairly okay you could probably do a one two three also up until this area so you could have taken this trade as well but it still wouldn't have given you a a full target because a one to three was all the way up here right so the stop loss would have been quite wide right whereas the stop loss is actually uh smaller than this area so this would have been a much more difficult trade for you to take and if the setup is fine then if the setup is difficult that's okay just wait for it to trade above the volume okay and look for the consolidation or the rejection of the volume area simple don't have to complicate it right so that was how that trade was it was a successful trade okay so coming into this area now right if i just uh, remove all these drawings and what we want to do now is take a look at this high because this is where the last strong push was okay and we want to draw a market profile right you can take it from the larger low right and that's going to give you this area here or you can also take it from the most recent swing low right gives you an area below okay so both both are fine right or you can do both doesn't really matter and just go with what closest to price right or you can mark them both up now <coughs> excuse me uh, we literally could get a move right down into this area right take out this low okay reject hold above here and then trade higher right there's definitely nothing stopping price from doing that right now we've traded into it sometimes you will come short of it and it can continue higher right but as of now we are consolidating near the side right above the 50. now we're going to take a look at the volume of this pullback right and we can see if we're above the volume right and we are holding and that's why i've actually kept my my buy stop at this area right because if this is going to go higher it'll tag me in right take out this high and ultimately take out this high and if it takes out this high it'll take out that high so there'll be a cascade effect of stops being ran 
all the way all the way until we get to the stop rod but to be involved in that uh, that stop rod okay let's just take a look at this pullback right the low okay now we have a distribution here so the most volume is here right you can see we've actually taken out that low right just at that point okay so we've got rejection at lower prices so that's a good thing okay why that's important is because we have a, a distribution that's not normal right so in market profile terms right you can see how this distribution is tapering at the top and forming a b kind of shape so in when you're dealing with market profile such a distribution is called a b a b shape okay and you get a p shape which would be this way you can see why it looks like a p and then you get a normal distribution which looks like a bell curve right so all the volume is distributed in the middle and we tape at the top now when you get a p shape or a b shape this is indicative of lower prices right because we've got volume building lower so we can expect prices basically what you have is you got rejection at the high right so you got a strong push lower and you are basically building volume at lower prices and what this usually means is that we want to be trading in we want to be trading to the sell side so any break above the consolidation high we're looking for that to reject right and we'll be going short after we get that rejection right we'll be going short in there right and we'll be targeting the low right but once price breaks the low if price doesn't continue and we get a rejection of the low now we can assume that there's exhaustion okay otherwise price would have gone lower so that means there's exhaustion where someone was absorbing the lows right and what we want to see is we want to see price holding above this distribution because that means the balance of control was switched because we have basically sellers at lower prices at this point and buyers at lower prices right and now we have sellers at higher prices and also buyers at higher prices right so in this situation what we have is a p distribution here right where the uh, the volume builds out all the way at the top okay and this is telling us we can expect prices to go higher okay so that's what we see here and we need to see that uh, exhaustion or absorption at lower prices and that's shown by price breaking and rejecting a low right uh, which is exactly what we have up here so we have rejection down here and price has moved higher and now we are consolidating so that's that buyers coming in at higher prices right and anyone who was trying to sell into this move at this point is basically losing money because we are above most of the volume right so a lot of the trade is actually in this zone so above this level right sellers are losing money and we can expect them to capitulate and any selling coming in at this level once price gets around here those sellers are losing money right so um let's see how this trade turns out what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put this here and this is gonna basically be my hypothetical buy stop right and i'll keep a stop loss around here just in case price wants to make a new low so once price breaks above this level i'm basically tagged in and i'm gonna set a target of one two three okay so that's above this level now if we look at a one to one of this level okay that's around where my target is okay so that's all right and i'll just let this run now i won't uh, play it all i'll just come back uh, with the details and until then see you in a bit okay so guys uh just got tapped in the trade now and uh it's moving straight into a uh, profit and you can see indeed we took that low and we got that rejection now obviously a sharper entry or a more aggressive entry would be entering as soon as we got that rejection and keeping your stop as tight as the low so that would be entering around this area and keeping your stop around this area but once you get um, more experience you always want to you'll realize that you always want to uh, leave some space for that uh, wiggle room because there's nothing stopping price from gaming the levels or continuing to make a few more lows before continuing up so you always want to put those odds in your favor right and that literally means you sacrifice a bit of range and uh have a larger stop but um that's the trade-off you have to take okay so right we can come back here and we'll just go back to the 500 chart 
Right, we want to just uh, set our stops and our targets. Right, so now that we've broken this high, right, we can literally just keep our stop at this low. Okay, and so around there. Right, so that's close enough, and that's the trade. Okay, as we move along and take our levels, I'll be adjusting my stops and I'll be updating you. I'm gonna adjust this area, reduce the risk to that point, and as we move higher, right, we can just remove here and just mark out this high. So once we take out this high, we want to be at break even. Okay, and. We'll let this run and see how it operates and I'll be updating you on everything I do as we go along. Okay, so now we've taken out this high and we can be moving to break even now. You can see that there. And there's break even. Oh, my bad. So um, the entry was literally above this red candle's high. Right, so I'll just uh, adjust that on trading view. Right, so we are at break even and just highlight that high. It seems that we are rejecting this high a little bit. Uh, let's put a straight line. Make it a bit thinner. Okay, so we are at break even and we are getting that rejection. see how that turns out okay right. and that's a break-even trade okay so that's how this trade worked out uh, was it a successful trade yeah it was successful it didn't uh, go high you know it just took out the high and rejected and that doesn't mean this cannot turn around and start trading higher right it could do that okay but uh, for our entry strategy right it was fine and it turned out to be a break even which is fine so it's still a successful trade so having said that okay so that concludes the, the trading session for me and until the london and new york session right we get some rest and i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh we'll see what happens by the morning right but uh i'm sure we'll run this uh this larger time frame high Right, I'm just not sure if it'll be done now or if we're going to make a deeper pullback or we're going to come to this level and reject first. No way of telling and as of right now there is nothing for me and I'm not going to sit around watching it. So thank you for your time and hope you enjoy. Cheers.